Delivering fresh produce to one of the most exclusive kitchens on earth is not always easy, especially when the kitchen is 800 feet below the surface of the ocean, inside a submarine. So when you run out of fresh tomatoes, you have to arrange for a delivery. But putting tomatoes on a sub is easier said than done. The US Navy has various methods to replenish submarines at sea, and the method chosen is very much dependent on where the submarine is located. If the submarine is in the middle of nowhere, far from land and not within proximity of another Navy ship, the only option is to use a cargo airplane like a C-17 to deliver goods. Thanks to aerial refueling, C-17s can deliver supplies to pretty much anywhere in the world, and they can do it fast. Once in proximity, the C-17 airdrops the cargo. This way, they can also deliver large amounts of goods by dropping multiple packages. Now you can already see what the challenging part is. How is the submarine going to fish out the cargo? Send sailors for a swim? And if multiple packages are airdropped, let's just hope the submariners are efficient with their snake game when collecting the goods. If the submarine is in the middle of the ocean but close to another navy ship, the delivery can be done using a helicopter or an Osprey tilt rotor. The obvious advantage is that you can lower the cargo directly onto the submarine. If you use multiple vehicles, you can probably deliver a substantial amount of cargo quite fast. By the way, these guys, the few sailors who get to pick up the cargo, are the lucky ones since they can access a rare commodity, fresh air and sunshine. But if the cargo to be delivered is small, sending off a helicopter seems like overkill. In November of 2020, a long-endurance hybrid electric drone set a new maritime milestone, completing the first ship-to-submarine delivery via a small unmanned aircraft. The drone took off from a moving surface vessel and ferried supplies to the crew of the Ohio-class ballistic missile submarine USS Henry M. Jackson. But this drone has a command and control handoff capability, which means initially the pilots aboard the ship launched the drone and flew it near the submarine. And once there, pilots aboard the submarine took control of the drone and released the package onto the top of the sub. These drones are capable of flight times of up to 5 hours and can be controlled from 60 miles away. Now knowing the US Navy's sense of humor, we wonder if they had included any sub-sandwiches in that drone delivery. Oh, and we have proof that the US Navy does indeed have a nice sense of humor. In 2009, USS Eisenhower, USS Vicksburg and USS Milius sailed together in a formation in the Persian Sea. The Iranians did not find it funny, but it was. It was in fact hilarious and a gesture of love, because all three ships had the same hull number of 69. And nothing says I love you like three massive American 69s in your backyard. Finally, if the submarine is close to land, well, multiple options would be available. Helicopter delivery would again be an option, for example by the Coast Guard. The Coast Guard personnel might have been nice enough to throw in some luxury items. Although, I would say, that's not enough Hershey bars for everyone on that sub. But in most cases, when the sub is close to land, replenishments are done by a small boat that loads up food and other items into watertight containers and delivers them directly to a submarine, which just has to briefly surface to collect the goods. With the advent of nuclear-powered submarines and technologies that go hand-in-hand -hand with it, the need for surfacing in order to get fuel, water and air has gone away. But how far are we from having submarines that can somehow be self-sufficient with fresh food? What do you think?